and then we have a new friend. He's literally just here. <laughs> he's just stood outside the window. Look, if I stand up near him, he starts waddling away. <laughs> Where are you going? Stephen, come back. Stephen! Look, I'm going to go back down here, and I guarantee he walks back. Oh, and he's back! <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'll get back up again, and he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a special seagull. He'll be back, watch. Ready? There he is. <laughs> I can't. I, I just can't. <laughs> I just died. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it hurts too much. <laughs> so for everyone saying that I don't do cooking at home, I, I do cooking at work. I work in Pizza Express. So this is what I'm currently cooking. You probably can't see it right now. So let's actually like split the camera. See, we've got the burgers, burger buns just here. And then we've got garlic like just here. And the rest of the burger buns just there. We do have some cheese somewhere. We've got to do loads of washing up. I think the cheese is over there in the fridge. But we put loads of stuff in here. So we've got like mints, we've got onions, we've got uh, paprika. Um, mustard and we're gonna add the garlic so and we're gonna cook all of this up and we're gonna put it on top of here and then put cheese over top and then put some buns over the top pop it in the oven and basically it'll be nice burger melt as I want to call it a burger melt but anyway so you guys don't believe me that I do cooking I'll obviously take a picture of it or film it once we've done it and yeah hope you enjoyed it so as you can see, we've got the mince just cooking away there, sizzling, I have been stirring it, but it's just on low heat at the moment, while the oven preheats, so we can put the actual, like, the mince just on top of the burger buns just here, and I'm sure cheddar cheese to put over the top of that, and then we've got the burger tops to put over the top of the actual cheese, which will then all go into the oven, and it's at 200 degrees on oven setting, as you can probably see when it focuses, yes, but that's now just sizzling away, so... I'll see you in a second. So as you can see, we got the cheese here. The cheese is now on. I don't know what's up with the lighting, but there's two layers of cheese. And this is mature cheddar slices, British, from Iceland. Huh. And then we got them from there. Four strengths. Apparently it's really strong cheese, but yeah. It's not particularly deep, but it's deep enough and there's two layers of the cheese. So hopefully it melts really nicely. Let's just wait and see, shall we? So this is where it needs to go into the oven at this point. So you can see I've got all the buns on top of it with loads of cheese. And it's very, very illuminated. I'm going to put it in the middle shelf. At, again, 200 degrees once it focuses. 200 degrees and it's just a convection oven, so pretty simple. Now it's in the oven, as you can see. We're going to watch the cheese melt. Cheese is all lovely and juicy and melted. And there was two layers of that cheese and it ended up pretty well, actually. It's not too bad how it's ended up. But obviously we're going to have to do a taste test to see how it is. I'm going to send them up into the plates and we've got the salad bowl just there as well. So we just had the actual, uh, here we go, look. We, ju we just had these. These are the burgers that we literally just had, which I just made. We made the mince and like, you're like, you can't see me. I'm really dark here. Look, it's ridiculous. Let me turn off this light here. That should make it a little bit brighter now. But we just had the burgers with the mince and the uh, cheese and then the buns like all in one sort of tray and then like the cheese sort of melts into the mince and it wasn't a traditional burger where it's actually like a beef patty pate however you say it <laughs> it literally was just mince ground mince that was that's all it was and um, we put onion in it uh, put garlic in it put paprika in it uh, mustard and so on I'm just going to call them burger melts because literally the way the cheese just melts over all the mints and the, like they all stick together and you just peel the burgers out. It's absolutely, this is lush. It was so lush. Seriously guys, I, I just just took it out. It literally takes like 15 minutes to make. Less than 15 minutes to make. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this like short clip of me just talking about something that I've just made like cooking wise, then hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye. <coughs> So as another part of this vlog, like another bit added to it. So here's the latest update to my computer. I've now installed two crucial one gigabyte, uh, one gigabyte, wow, 1,000 gigabytes, 1,050 gigabytes to be exact, which is basically a terabyte hard drive, two of them, 
and they're in RAID 0. And as you can see, I am currently installing Windows 10, and this is the RAID controller for uh, Windows 10, 64-bit, and Windows 7, and Windows 8, and blah, 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 but obviously we're using Windows 10. And you can see my computer's an absolute mess at the moment. So as soon as all of this is installed, I'm going to do a bit of cable management. I need to make sure I plug in all the rest of the hard drive. There's a hard drive hidden at the top there. It's only like a 1,000 gigabytes terabyte hard drive. And then there's two terabyte hard drives in that bit there. And yeah. And there's one faulty hard drive over here. <laughs> Three terabyte hard drive that went faulty. So yeah, I'm going to try and actually get back to them um, and try and get that repaired. I'm still waiting for this to install. It's taking so long to install. But anyway... I sign off now.